For today's practice, we're going to sit in meditation and then move through two yin yoga poses. So I invite you to get comfortable, whether that's sitting cross-legged or on your knees, whatever feels best for you. And then allow your eyes to close or just be soft here. Maybe you feel more comfortable with your gaze slightly forward and down. The hands can rest on the lap, on the legs, on the knees. As you allow your gaze to soften, slowly start to take an inhale up along the back of the spine, the back of the head, the back of the neck. Exhale, soften the shoulders, allow your collarbones to broaden, and just become a little more aware of the space. And as you exhale again, breathe into the bottom of your belly. On your inhale, allow the belly to start to expand, ribs expand. Exhale, soften back into the body. Relax your forehead. Relax your cheekbones. Relax your eyelids. Soften your jaw. Your next inhale, Breathe again up along the back of the spine. Exhale, leaning back into that space behind you. Relax the shoulders one more time. Adding a theme of keeping the heart open for today. So our two yin poses and any other poses we go through today will be about opening the heart. Belly rises, belly falls. Relax your face. Your eyes suddenly closed. Start to silently say in your own mind, I am committed to my heart. And if you're comfortable, if you're alone or with people that you don't care what you look like or sound like, you can say out loud, I am committed to my heart. One more time, I am committed to my heart. Then slowly starting to blink the eyes open here. Again, keeping the heart space open. So even as you inhale, keep the chest open, arms reach, fingertips reach. Exhale, one hand comes down, set a little stretch to the side here. Feel free to bend into that elbow. If you want more space, reach the arm away. As you inhale, really keeping this open side of the body open. And if you want to add a little more of a heart opener, slightly lean back and the gaze can come up. Next, inhale, gaze comes back to center. Pull the belly in and up, arms reach up. Exhale, hands slide down to heart center, elbows come out. Feel your shoulder blades slide on the back, release the hands, inhale, reach. Exhale, other side. So hand plants, again you can use that elbow here, or you can walk your hand out further. Really breathe into the open side of the body, so breathe into the ribs. Stay there, maybe your gaze comes up, opening up. Staying committed to the heart space, eyes come back to center, slowly come back to center, release the arms down. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale out through the nose. 
And right into our first yin pose here. So I'll show two ways. So one is seated with legs out straight. Here's one version. You can also turn for me sideways so you can see a little bit better. And if you need any support underneath your leg, you could put a bolster, you could even roll up a shirt. I like to use my hands to really like roll the insides of the bones and the legs here. And keeping the heart open to start, hands that come by the body. So you take an inhale, lift the chest, use the heart to lead the way. So you slowly start to come forward, staying here or allowing the body to curve forward, hands can come onto the body, drop the head. In yin yoga, we hold poses a little bit longer. So it really allows us to breathe into the body. So maybe with each inhale, you just start to feel like creep into the back of the body. Exhale softens you into the body. Drop the face, the head, the neck. You exhale, soften the shoulders, maybe the head drops a little bit more. As you stay in this pose, you may find that you can actually soften more, or maybe you need to ease up a little bit. So then just do what feels right for you. Inhale, imagine breath traveling on the back of the legs. Exhale, soften the upper body over the lower body. Doing three more full inhales and exhales. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your nose. Inhale. Exhale. One more full round of breath. Soften your face. Connecting the breath with movement as you inhale, pull the belly in and up, slowly roll up, head we roll up last. Using the Hands here, placing them behind you, bend the knees, put the bottoms of your feet, and just let the legs rock side to side. Awesome. So, and any movement there you like, and as you're ready, we'll come into seated butterfly pose. So the bottoms of the feet come together, knees open up here. Lots of options, so hands can come in behind the body, on the body, or you can also add that slight forward fold again, so you stay committed to the heart no matter where you are, so maybe this feels best for you, but if you want to lean forward, the heart leads the way, then the body and the head follow. So you can add more of that forward fold feeling here. As you inhale, breathe in the back of the heart, the spine. Exhale, maybe you start to fold forward a little bit more. Or again, just staying where you are. So find what feels best for you. You could also always use a block here. If anyone has a bolster, you can do this. Or if you have the block, 
You just place the block here by the feet or on the floor and rest your head on the block. You can also stack your fists. So this is just a great opener here for the hips. Our last pose in the seated forward fold is great for stretching the hamstrings so you can release the low back. As we pause here, just softening in a little bit more. Again, these are two poses that you could hold anywhere from 30 seconds to four minutes, five minutes. If you want to set a timer on my phone, I have an app that's free. It's called Meditation Timer. And you can set the timer for as long as you want, and it'll ding. So say if you want to do this pose for three minutes, it dings, you hold it. Three minutes later, it dings. Come out, go into your other pose, it'll ding. It's great for if you just want to sit in silence and you have a short period of time and you really want to focus. You know, you have that committed five minutes. So we take our last few rounds of breath here to stay committed to the heart space. So even though we're slightly rounded forward and it feels like we're really protecting the heart, see if you can really even soften the back of the heart. So the heart is the front inside and back, the whole area of the heart space. Relax your face one more time, soften the skin on your body. Here, next inhale, engaging the belly, slowly start to roll all the way up here using the hands on the body. So even if you're back like this, still being gentle with those hips, helping the knees come back up. Add any movement you need, so you can stretch out the legs here, you can rock the body side to side, massage the body, whatever you need. And we'll come into what's called yoga nidra slash a little bit of meditation to end this short segment. So lots of options, again, you can sit, you could sit on a pillow, anything, one of those fancy meditation pillows or one off your coach, <laughs> that's usually what I sit on. Um, you could also lay down, that's one of my favorite ones. And yoga nidra is great because it allows you to connect with every part of your body. Just allowing the arms to soften, again, you can stay seated or you can lay back down on your mat. We're just going to go through a slight body scan. So relax your forehead. And this is a scan you can do at any time during the day, sitting in traffic, doing the dishes. You feel like you're going to explode because your kids are fighting. <laughs> These are real life scenarios that you could use this. It's just a slight scan. Your eyes don't need to be closed, but you just allow the mental part of the mind, the body, to scan through the consciousness of your being. Relax the forehead. <clears throat> Relax your jaw. Relaxing the right eyebrow. Relaxing your left eyebrow. Relax the whole, the eyebrows and the eyes together. And soften the whole, the back of your head. The whole, the front of the face. Relax the whole, the head and the face together. And send an exhale and relaxation down the whole, the neck. Hold the throat. Relax the whole the head and the neck together. Softening the right shoulder. Softening the left shoulder. Softening the whole the shoulders together. <clears throat> 
As you relax the shoulders and starting to breathe and relax the whole the right arm, wrist, the whole the right hand and all five fingers in the right side of your body. And putting that same relaxation on the left arm, left wrist, left hand and all five fingers in the left side of your body. Send a wave and a wash of relaxation over the whole of the front of the heart, back of the heart, the whole of the heart, and send that feeling down the whole of the back. Relaxing the right ribs, left ribs, the whole of your ribs together. Relax the whole of your belly. Relax the whole of the hips. Whole of your glutes. Relax the whole of your upper torso together. And some relaxation down the whole of the right leg. The whole of your left leg. The whole of the right foot, left foot, and all five toes on the right side and the left side of your body. Relax the whole of the right side of your body. Relax the whole of the left side of your body. Relax the whole of your body together. Relax the skin and the whole of your body together. Take the next few moments together in silence. repeating, I am committed to my heart.